Greetings, Android users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And this video is intended to do two things. First of all, it's to introduce you to my new Android app. And then second of all, it's going to show you how you could make your own Android app just like mine uh, using a very, very handy uh, new service that I found while perusing through the Chrome uh, market. And I'm going to show you uh, what that is. But first of all, let's take a look at the uh, Android market here. We're going to go and type in Rev TV and do a search. And there we go. Uh, this is my first and only uh Android app on the Android market and uh, the intention of this app is to uh, give you a a one-stop shop for all of my information uh, it gives you access to my Twitter feed as well as to my YouTube channel as new uh, uh, information comes out and I post it it will uh, come straight to you that is the intention of this application now there's I know a lot of you who are um, bloggers or uh, you have your own YouTube information, uh, Twitter, uh, obviously. This information, uh, you're not doing it just for yourself, you're doing it for others. And so giving them this uh, aggregate location, this uh, personalized app for your fans or followers uh, is an amazing thing. And it was relatively easy for me to do this. And now I'm going to show you how it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new tab here in Chrome. And you'll notice that I have Publish 5 is uh, one of the Chrome apps that I have. And I did. I went to the Chrome app market and I found it accidentally, actually. Uh, I'm going to go to it. And uh, you'll notice it just takes you to Publish5.com. I went looking for some information on this service and found very little about it anywhere on the Internet. Uh, I did not find any videos on YouTube about it. And uh, I, I can't believe that, really, uh, based on how this works and uh, the functionality. I was extremely impressed, and uh, I, I'm hoping that this kind of encourages others to go and do what I have done. I'm relatively pleased with the whole overall process. So let's get started. We're going to go to Start Publish 5. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you for a login, and... Uh, my partner in crime, uh, Evil Libby, was a little jealous of the fact that I have an Android app of my own now, and so she has encouraged me to possibly make one for her. Now, I don't see her as having as much content <laughs> just yet, but uh, nonetheless, we'll use her uh, login as an example, and we'll see what we can do. And uh, let me just... Uh, Go ahead and sign in here. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me for uh, permissions to access your Google account. Uh, I'm going to do that. And here we go. Very, very nice uh, situation here because not only is it going to kind of walk you through with this very simple GUI interface, it's also going to give you real-time uh, demonstration of what you're doing. It's actually going to have the phone here on the left show you what the app is going to look like as you're creating it. And then afterwards, again, it's so simple and easy to do. Afterwards, you actually go to the Android market and you download a test client where you can actually see what it's going to look like on your device. So I, I was very, very pleased with uh, the way this whole thing worked out. Let's begin. Creating Android content app with uh, Publish 5 is easy. See your app in the end. Okay, so it tells you what's going on. Add stuff, stuffs, <laughs> to my app. So let's do that. Let's see what we have options Why? Select a source. Okay, blogger, WordPress, Tumblr, other blog news or RSS feeds, Twitter account, and YouTube channel. Uh, this is where those of you who are heavy bloggers or heavy Tumblr users or other such stuff are going to see a lot of value to this. If you've seen my app, my app only has two options. It has Twitter or it has my YouTube channel. Now, if you have multiple of these, then your app will have that much more content. Unfortunately, Evil Libby only has one item right now, which is the Twitter account. So we're only going to be able to add a Twitter account here. And so we're going to add it and we're going to put Evil Libby's Twitter and 
her username. OK. So I'm going to press OK. And her Twitter has been added. And I hit OK. All right. Make changes to you. Choose a new channel layout. So as it stands right here, you can see what the uh, app actually looks like. And this is very real time. I mean, these are her uh, tweets. And so you can actually see them as we go along here. It also gives you the option to rotate the phone. And you can see it again in uh, landscape form. So we're going to put it back upright. Choose a new channel layout. OK, so there's a couple defaults here. And uh, default is obviously what you see here. Uh, casual and friendly. It's a little uh, off kilter there. Professional, so there's not very much background at all. Uh, modern, which is actually kind of nice looking. Chit chat. Wacky. Oh, wow, look at how wacky that is. Talk of the town and then uh, playful. Now, I believe I use playful in mine. So for her, let's go with modern. I think modern looks pretty nice. So let's hit OK. All right, so we have that here. Now we can change the overall style and app information. Let's enter the basic app information then. Name, well, let's call it Evil Libby. Your site's main URL. Okay, so it looks like uh, this, let's see here, we'll come back to that into the market ID. User, your site's main URL. We don't really have a main URL, so we're going to come back to that and we'll press OK. Okay, so here we are. We have uh, change the overall style, uh, upload app images. Uh, well, let's, let's take a look at what upload app images actually is. Now, upload app images is looking for three pieces of information. The first one is it's looking for an icon image. For best results, 72 by 72, they're talking about pixels. Tool, top bar image, that's this right here. So where it says new app, you can actually change that to be something else. This wants to be a 300 by 80 uh, pixels. And, uh, and then there's also the default image, which if you were to look right here, when you hit the home button, which is that right there, that right there is what this image is, and it's 256 by 128. You'll notice that this one says required, but these two do not. So what we'll do is we'll, I'm actually have already created these images, and we're going to go take a look at those now. Okay, so I already have the app uh, images uh, created. I've created these in Photoshop. Uh, you can use uh, GIMP or whichever application, graphic application of your choice. Uh, I have three of them here, one called default, and this is 256 by 128. Uh, I have one called icon, which is 72 by 72. And then I have the top bar, which is 300 by 80. And that's exactly what uh, this is asked for. And so let's uh, go ahead and put those in there now. I'm going to upload an image. And, and just to show you here too is uh, in the icons, if you do pick an image, It'll give you an option to choose from these, you know, 20 or so, uh, if you're not uh, creative enough, I guess. Uh, upload an image. Choose File, and we'll put the icon in there, and we will uh, confirm and upload this. And nothing happens, which obviously it wouldn't because that's the icon. But let's do the top bar image. Upload. Choose File. Top bar. Confirm and upload. And there we have it. So my top bar has now uh, changed to the one that I have created. Default image is next. Uh, upload an image. Choose file. Default. Open. Confirm and upload. Very easy process here. That's going to change this here as soon as it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's done. And uh, you'll notice that if I rotate this, this gets bigger. And uh, very nice. Go to Twitter. Okay. We'll go back to the home. All right, so what's next? Let's hit OK, and let's take a look at the coloring. So if we go up to Change Overall Style, we can change the uh, default uh, newspaper. This is just changing the backgrounds and whatnot. Night, uh, sharp, which is very nice. Actually, I like sharp. Uh, the one thing that we want to do here is change this color, the top bar color. And uh, I do know, I believe, the number was let's see here 
believe that was the number of the color. Uh, it's close enough. Uh, it, it does help to keep track of that from whatever your graphic program is. So whatever this background color is for these uh, images, you might want to keep track of what the number is so that you can pump that into this so it all gels together quite nicely. But it does look like I inadvertently wrote down the wrong number. But it's not relevant, actually, to this since we're not actually going to publish this. Let's hit OK. Save my changes. All right, so what do we have here? Did we get everything? Do we like the way it looks? Let's see here. Looks like uh, everything looks pretty nice. And again, you can go in and customize this. This is all being HTML5. It's pretty handy. Uh, let's go test or publish my app. Well, let's take a look and see what that says. Uh, pricing plans. I am going to take a look at that real quick here with you. All right. <laughs> Forget Publish 5 and hire a freelance developer to create your app, $3,000 plus. I have no idea how much it would cost to hire somebody to do this for you. $3,000 doesn't sound uh, that far-fetched. Uh, but the whole purpose of this is that uh, they're taking your content from other areas, putting it together, and making an app for you. How much does that something like that cost? Well, the starter, which is what I did, $19 one-time fee. What's this going to give me? Well, it gave me an APK file. It gave me uh, unlimited updates for a year, so I can go in and make whatever tweaks I want. If I decide to add Blogger or WordPress or whatever, I can come in and add that at a later date. Uh, there's no monetization, so you can't have any money coming off of ads or anything like that. Uh, discounts and new features. Hopefully, they'll have some uh, ice cream sandwich support someday down the road. Uh, and then there's no monthly fee. Uh, maximum 1,000 active users. I don't see myself having more than 1,000 active users, so not a big deal. Uh, standard is a $15 a month, uh, gives you unlimited updates, uh, I guess for the lifetime of your monthly fees, uh, monetization from ads. So you can get some money there, uh, maximum 10,000 active users. And then the pro goes to ridiculous levels at $49 a month, but it gives you whole sorts of fun, new stuff. Uh, so I guess if you're heavy, high end major league, uh, ball player here, uh, this would be the way to go. So that's going to be your uh, pricing guide there. But again, $19, uh, I got an APK sent to me in the mail. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to test drive this app. Uh, if we go to uh, this here, the app testing, you can actually go and download the Publish 5 test client free from the Android market and see what it's going to look like on your device. So that's what we're going to go do now. I have here my HP touchpad. Now you can do this on your phone. You can do this on your tablet. It doesn't really matter which way you do this. Uh, I'm going to go into market and uh, in the market, we're going to go do a search and we're going to go search for publish five and it comes up with the Publish 5 test client here. Now there's also a demo app, I haven't played with that. And then you also see my app, which is uh, already installed. So let's go into Publish uh, test client here and we'll hit install. I'll ask for permissions, it's fine. Now this uh, HP touchpad is running uh, CyanogenMod 9 ice cream sandwich. But I can confirm that this also works on the Cyanogen Mod 7, the Gingerbread, and it also works on a bounty of different phones that I have played with. So let's go ahead and open it. And it's kind of giving you a uh, small demonstration here. And the first thing we're going to do is go into the menu, and we're going to do Update Design. And Update Design is going to ask for uh, which of your uh, email uh, accounts do you want or which one of your Google accounts so I'm going to choose the evil Libby one and this is it uh, this is my evil Libby app now and it's showing her Twitter here and uh, I think that this uh, looks okay let me turn it here and see okay so it actually will turn and I can hit the home button and it shows the top image and I can scroll of course there's not much content so there's nothing to scroll and I can hit this here and wow this looks absolutely wonderful I was very happy with this I thought this is great let's go ahead and publish this uh, at least that's what I thought when I did mine so 
Uh, all right, now you'll notice that there is an ad here, and this is for them, uh, the actual Publish 5 people, not for you. And so you're looking at this, and you're thinking, wow, this looks great. Okay, well, let's go ahead and publish it. It looks actually, I think it looks better on the phones than it does on the tablet. Uh, it just looks so huge on the tablet here. You can click on each one of the different Twitter items and whatnot. Okay, so let's go back to home. And uh, I have uh, this background here. Uh, I'll put a link in the, for this background if you're interested in having a Rev TV background for your HP touchpad. It's actually optimized for uh, working on the ice cream sandwich, so you can download that from the uh, link in the video description. But that, let's look at my actual app. Now, this is what I ended up actually getting. When it comes up, it's not full screen like I had anticipated it to do from the uh, um, from the test client. The test client showed it full screen, and I was very pleased to see that. Unfortunately, when I finally did get the end result, uh, it does not show full screen. And I can go into videos, and it shows all the videos here available. And then there's the Twitter. And the Twitter, again, it only takes up this small bit of room, which, again, looks fantastic on a phone, but the tablet interface is lacking. If I were to turn this, it doesn't actually rotate when the screen rotates. So the test client is a little deceiving from a tablet perspective. Now, I don't know if it's specific to the ice cream sandwich tablets. Uh, I actually, I think I tried it on CyanogenMod Mod 7, which is based on gingerbread, and it get, did the same thing. So, uh, but if you were to have a phone, uh, the actual phone interface, uh, and I do have my uh, Milestone XT7, 20 here and uh, I'll give you a quick example I'll go into my uh, Rev TV app on the phone and it's a lot nicer interface on the phone itself I can go into the Twitter I can go into the YouTube, and there it all is. And when I hit on this, it actually takes me into uh, the actual YouTube app. So you know what's going on there. All in all, though, I would have to say that other than the small piece where the actual tablet uh, interface isn't 100%, uh, I think this is a very, very quick and easy way for you to get an application, an app for the Android market with your content without breaking the bank for a developer to make it for you or without learning uh, years and years worth of programming skills to be able to make one on your own. So uh, hopefully this gives you a, an opportunity, uh, encourages you to go out and play with the Publish 5 website, see what kind of fun app you can make on your own. And, and I have to say that once you see your app up and running on their website under the HTML5 code preview or from the test client or, um, you know, just looking at my own app, which I do recommend that you go and download. Uh, hopefully this will encourage you to maybe say, hmm, you know, for $19, I think it might be worth it to make my own app so that I can uh, put my stuff out there and get my blogging and Tumblr and all of that out to the public in a, in a different manner than I'm used to. Uh, on top of all of this, I did put mine out onto the Google market. Uh, it does cost money to sign up for the Google market. Um, turnaround time, it took me, uh, they said it was going to be seven business days. I got it in six business days. Uh, I'm happy with that. Um, I paid for it. I believe it was through PayPal. Uh, it might have been a credit card. I'm not sure. Either way, it was a quick and easy process to do this. And uh, I highly recommend that you at least go check it out. So this has been Reverend. Kyle doing two things today, showing you my own personal app uh, on the Android market and also showing you how to create your own using the publish5.com interface.